Jason has always been, I call it a hustler. He's always had an idea. He's always wanted to do something more. Um, even when he was, he lived in a, a trailer at the time, a camping trailer, and he was trying to start a business of his own. He always had that extra drive to do something more. He wasn't satisfied with just having a nine to five job. He wanted to have, yeah, something more. He, he's really kind, like, I love him so much. He's, he's really inventive, like, he solved so many problems with the help of mom, of course, but. <laughs> Jason wasn't uh, a kid that I would think of it, that dreamt of becoming an entrepreneur, but he was always a tinkerer and I was into all kinds of different things. Um, he, if anything, he had trouble focusing on any particular thing, so he bounced around a lot. And, uh, but as far as back then looking forward, no, I, I wouldn't have guessed that he would be out on his own. It's one of those acorn doesn't fall far from the tree sort of thing because I've always been interested in uh, doing my own thing as it were. But, uh, Jason was working as a plumber gas fitter and he's a journeyman plumber gas fitter. I really want to do something on my own. I really don't want to be working for someone else for the rest of my life. And I completely well, sympathize and understood that he's very much like me in that regard. I have to say I've been so impressed with Jason. Uh, from the moment that we connected on the phone, we were introduced, I knew he was someone that I could work with. He came up with this idea of the carbon capture thing and we were both pretty impressed with that and you know tried to do everything we could to help him, encourage him to, to go down that path. My name is Jason Cardiff. I'm an entrepreneur and I am a co-founder of CleanO2 Carbon Capture Technologies. Someone who was very serious about what he was doing, but he was also a good leader. He's pretty grounded. He, he cares about his team. He cares about the people on his team, his family, and he cares about the business. And it's hard to find people like that. He's just a, a wonderful mix of a lot of things that I look for for someone that I want to spend 40, 50 hours a week with working. I've faced a number of difficulties finding that balance between work and family. You're constantly pulled in two separate directions. You know, some days you can be uh, an awesome entrepreneur, but when you're an awesome entrepreneur, you're probably being a crappy dad and a crappy husband. But there are days when I think I'm a pretty good dad and a, you know, a pretty good husband, but I'm a crappy entrepreneur because I'm not focusing on projects. So it, you're, you're, you find that you're constantly fighting with yourself and questioning yourself whether you're doing justice to the things that you're expected to do. Right now, if he was in front of me, I would say, way to go, boy. Um, you've come a long way. I, you're successful in family, you're successful in business, and the only one that can take credit for that is you, and to continue along that track. 